What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and for the next indie game that we're going to be talking about from Gamescom, uh, since earlier yesterday, I believe, we talked about um, Gigabash. That's what it was, Gigabash. Today, we're going to talk about Pumpkin Jack. Uh, we're going to watch the eight minutes of gameplay. Uh, reminds me of a medieval kind of feeling uh, game. The little bit I've seen, so let's uh, see a little bit more before we give our final judgments, and then we'll talk about it. So here we go. Let's hop right in. Jack running around here fighting crows. I really like the art style. Uh, definitely does give me that medieval kind of vibe. Like this could be Daniel Fortescue, and this could be a sequel to Medieval. Um, I think the word I'm looking for is spiritual successor is what it feels like. The bat designs are great, the enemy designs are pretty good. I'm not sure where they're coming from, they look like they're just kind of popping out of the ground, but... Checkpoint system, cool. Minecart, oh god, minecart level, bringing back the classics. I don't know how I feel about the uh, comic style uh, text next to the characters. Um, I understand it's an indie game and they probably don't have voice actors, so... It's cool. It works. Loving the soundtrack. It's very Donkey Kong Country. Uh, a little bit of Banjo-Kazooie sounding. I like it. So was that the crow shooting the missiles there to uh, hit the wood? Yes, it was. All right, cool. So the crow is kind of helping you get through this by uh, knocking the obstacles out of your path. Got to worry about some jumps. Looks very chaotic, and I love it. Very classic uh, Donkey, Kong, Donkey Kong Country. This does not feel medieval at all in this area. Uh, the art style is still very simple. I like that. Simple, clean. Got that gothic medieval kind of feel to it. Oh, this minecart level is great though. Ba -la -la -la. Nice. Alright. So I, hope, I think most of this is probably going to be the minecart. I didn't. Wasn't expecting that to be this extensive of a uh, minecart ride. There we go. Alright, now let's see some like actual combat. We saw a little bit there in the beginning. It's got some scavenging going on. Side character, cool. And the lore has me intrigued as well to see this world and, and uh, who these different characters are. Alright. Hop on the horse. So now we're going to have a hot horse riding uh, section. A lot of on rail segments I uh, wasn't expecting. More or less kind of the same gameplay here. But not on rails, because you are controlling the horse. Uh, fake on rails uh, gameplay here. Looks good though, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm still really interested in it, especially the way the horse is uh, flying in the air here. Music, once again, is good, very mellow, um, but still has that beat to it to keep you wanting to go. And got that eeriness, that uh, gothic eeriness. Very cool. I am intrigued on the uh, character of Pumpkin Jack, though. That dude's just like, screw that last rail, I'm gonna go around this tree. Alright, another cool little on-rail segment. 
Still got about four minutes into this, and we've seen two on rail segments so far. Uh, hopefully, we get something different. I like that checkpoint system, though. It reminds me of the fires in um, Dark Souls 3. Very cool system. Was that a magic attack of some sort? Alright, now we get to see some combat. Feels very hack and slash heavy, but uh, yeah, it works. I think he's using um, I don't know, those yo yo's. Kind of spins around him, I'm not sure what he's using. Could just be claws. So there's a little bit of uh, environmental destruction with the plants and the uh, wooden boxes, but typical stuff. A little bit of light platforming here. I ca I'm really digging the uh, enemy design, so the greens and the purples. Uh, so it's really e easy to ex to distinguish what's an enemy and what's not. Because they can kind of disappear in this environment. I'm liking the cornfield look. It feels very pumpkin... pumpkin-esque. Tower climbing. Can't have a platform without a tower to climb. Getting a ride with Kira on here. Cheer on, however you say his name. Kill that wizard. So you're off to kill a wizard. Now we got a different uh, enemy design here. This is like a demon and a skeleton. Not sure how I feel about the combat. It feels kind of um, different. He's kind of just holding this talisman out. I'm not sure if that's a different stance or um, a different weapon, maybe. Whereas earlier he was using his claws and kind of just spinning them around. Um, scratching left and right. Push the block segment. Yeah, so that thing seems to uh, do AOE uh, damage. So it's a crow, okay. So it's like a crow talisman that he's using. Sniper on you! Move! Okay, so you can uh, break those shields there. I wasn't sure if you could or not. Just don't know how I feel about the uh, level designs. It just feels very dated. Uh, very, very old. Very old school. And I understand there's still a crowd for that. Um, I just don't know if that's me. Uh, I like the sound cues though that the uh, ballista is making before it fires. So you know when to move. Combat just feels a little bit too weak for my tastes and I feel like we're, it's gonna be a lot of on rails, uh, puzzle solving and platforming. That's really gonna save this game. Alright, well that was the trailer guys, let's talk about it. Alright, so that was 8 minutes of Pumpkin Jack gameplay from uh, Gamescom 2020. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It has the looks of a medieval type uh, brawler, slasher, action adventure platformer game. Um, but it seems like it's a very simplified version of that. Um, and I don't know if it's too simple. Uh, there's a lot of on-rail segments and a lot of very, very simple puzzle solving and platforming. Uh, so I don't know if this is the audience, that, if I'm the audience they were going for for this. Uh, but I thought I would show it to you guys and bring it to your attention that this game is coming. If you're into those roguelike, um, hack and slash, classic uh classic games especially with uh minecart segments i mean that's how you know it's going to be a classic experience 
uh, complete with uh, the Donkey Kong style music, which that's one of the good things. I love the music. I love the world. I love the character designs. Uh, the enemy designs are great. It's just it. the gameplay for me feels too simple. Uh, but it is very early, so we'll have to see a little bit more of it before we can make our final judgments. Leave your comments down below what you think of Pumpkin Jack. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, guys, I've been your host, Ghost. Adios. Thank you.